Father brought two sandwiches for children to eat. He put them in the plate. One of the sandwich was having two pieces and other one had four pieces. What do you think? Has PJ really got more sandwiches? Let us find out. Just like a rectangular piece of paper, we will assume this as a sandwich. Okay? Now let's divide this paper sandwich into two equal pieces. That means two equal pieces when joined together will make one sandwich. Agree? Now let us take another rectangular piece of paper of same size and divide it into four equal pieces just same as what PJ got in the above picture. That means four equal pieces when joined together will make one sandwich. So now, what do you think? Has PJ got more sandwiches? Right. Both of them have got one sandwich. Then why did it happen that the girl felt that PJ had got four and she got only two? Because she compared by the number of pieces. If she would have looked at the total stuff of the sandwich that she got as compared to PJ, she would find she has got 2 out of 2 that is 2 divided by 2 equal to 1 whereas PJ got 4 out of 4 that is 4 divided by 4 equal to 1 and that means both of them have got equal stuff only. So now we can say that 2 divided by 2 is equal to 4 divided by 4 or these two fractions have same value that is one whole. Such fractions are called as equivalent fractions where the word equivalent can be broken into two words equi means equal and valent means value. Let's take another example to understand it better. You already have this rectangular piece of paper divided into two equal parts. Let's color one of its parts. Now, the colored part can be indicated as 1 out of 2, 1 upon 2. If I make another fold, say vertically, what do you see? Now, how many parts are colored and out of how many equal parts? Yes. Now, two parts are colored ones out of total four parts. Now, the colored part can be indicated as 2 upon 4 or 2 divided by 4. But can you see that the still both 1 divided by 2 and 2 divided by 4 are representing half of the paper which is colored? That means 1 divided by 2 and 2 divided by 4 are equivalent fractions. Now let's make one more fold, say horizontally. What do you see? How many parts are colored and out of how many equal parts? Yes. Now, four parts are colored ones out of total eight parts. Now, the colored part can be indicated as four upon eight or four divided by eight. Again, can you see that still four divided by eight is representing half of the paper which is colored just same as 1 divided by 2 and 2 divided by 4. That means 1 divided by 2 and 2 divided by 4 and 4 divided by 8 have same value which is equal to half or 1 divided by 2 and hence they are called as equivalent fractions. Let's go back and see how did we get 2 divided by 4 from 1 divided by 2. Exactly, we folded the paper once. That means we divided each part again into two equal parts so that 2 multiplied by 2 equal to 4 parts. And when we did this, even the colored parts also got divided into two equal parts. That is, one colored part now has become 1 multiplied by 2 equal to 2 colored parts. So that we got new fraction 2 divided by 4 to indicate the colored part. That means we multiplied numerator and denominator both of 
1 divided by 2 by 2 to get an equivalent fraction 2 divided by 4 and that also means that if we have a fraction 2 divided by 4 and we want to get its equivalent fraction we can divide both numerator and denominator by 2 to get 1 by 2 as equivalent fraction of 2 divided by 4. Similarly, to get 4 divided by 8 from 2 divided by 4, we again made another fold to divide each part into 2 equal parts. So that now there are total 4 multiplied by 2 equal to 8 parts. As each colored part also got divided into 2 equal parts. So that 2 colored parts have now become 2 multiplied by 2 equal to 4 colored parts. So that we got new fraction 4 divided by 8 to indicate the colored part. That means we multiplied numerator and denominator both of 2 and 4 by 2 to get an equivalent fraction 4 divided by 8. And that also means that if we have a fraction 4 divided by 8 and we want to get its equivalent fraction, we can divide both numerator and denominator of 4 and 8 by 2 to get 2 divided by 4 as equivalent fraction of 4 divided by 8. We can divide both numerator and denominator of 4 divided by 8 by 4 to get 1 divided by 2 as equivalent fraction of 4 divided by 8. So, that brings us the simple way of finding the equivalent fraction of a given fraction. Either multiply both numerator and denominator by same number or divide both numerator and denominator by same number. Let us quickly find equivalent fractions for 14 divided by 18. Let us first do it by multiplying both numerator and denominator by same number, say by 2. So, we get the new fraction as 14 multiplied by 2 divided by 18 multiplied by 2 equal to 28 divided by 36, say by 3. So, we get the new fraction as 14 multiplied by 3 divided by 18 multiplied by 3 equal to 42 divided by 54 and you can try out the remaining ones by same method. Now let us try to find equivalent fraction of 14 divided by 18 by dividing both numerator and denominator by same number say by 2. We get 14 divided by 2 divided by 18 divided by 2 equal to 7 divided by 9 very important here to note down is to divide both numerator and denominator by same number. We need to find out the common divisor of numerator and denominator. For example, 2 is the common divisor of 14 and 18, so we could divide both numerator and denominator by 2, whereas 7 is divisor of 14 but not 18. So, we cannot divide both numerator and denominator by 7. What did we learn? When two fractions indicate same value, they are called as equivalent fractions. And we can find an equivalent fraction either by multiplying or dividing both numerator and denominator by same number. For finding equivalent fraction by method of dividing both numerator and denominator by same number, we need to find the common divisor of numerator and denominator. See different examples of equivalent fraction using different shapes. Exercise. Let us find out the numbers which are missing in the following sum. 8 divided by question mark equal to Question mark divided by 9 equal to 24 divided by 18 equal to 48 divided by question mark equal to question mark divided by 54. Activity 1. Make a balance based on the fulcrum as shown below. 
on the right hand side there are many equal spaced marks by keeping a small weight on both sides we can show equivalent fractions if on the right hand side there are 10 marks on the left hand side 5 marks we can put on the left at first place from fulcrum f put weight at first position on the right will the balance which side is heavier will it balance if we shift weight to second position on the right side so 1 divided by 5 and 2 divided by 10 are equivalent take such different shapes to show equivalent fractions both the numbers to be compared need not be the same shapes now area shaded to the whole is the fraction 